That did the trick. Welcome back. Joseph Kendo here. Now, I present to you the Samurai Edge, Chris Redfield model, the second of the four custom variants which had been exclusively built for select members of STARS. Among the eight standard models, this design stood as an enhanced version that was revised to become an ideal sidearm in the hands of Chris Redfield. Prior to his recruitment into STARS, Chris served as an accredited pilot of the United States Air Force, although coming to the end of his service, Chris was discharged for insubordination as a result of his rebellious behavior. Fortunately for Chris, one of his formerly known servicemen, Barry Burden, reached out as a scout for the newly formed division of STARS. Upon review, Chris was recognized for his wealth of combat experience and exemplary skills in aviation, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and marksmanship, which had been tied to a prestigious track record in competitive shooting. With acknowledgement of these impressive feats, the Raccoon Police Department recruited Chris to join STARS, assigned to an honorable position as the point man of Alpha Team. As a competition shooting titleist and ace marksman of the team, Chris was selected among the 12 officers to test both prototypes of the Samurai Edge in the STARS trials. During this stage, his experience would be taken into account to design the finalized version of the Samurai Edge, known as the Standard Model, which went on to be produced for eight members of the team. But aside from this, Chris was selected as one of the four members of Alpha Team to receive a custom model that had been further modified to suit his own preferences. When taking a look at the construction of Chris Redfield's Samurai Edge, it's shown to share key features of the standard model, such as the Brigadier Slide, stainless steel barrel, and custom hybrid grips. However, its other modifications make it the most structurally similar variant due to Chris's influence on their designs based on his experience from the STARS trials. The modifications to deviate Chris's Samurai Edge included the following. To start, Chris made a request to retain the extended slide stop which was designed for improved ergonomics and handling by assisting the user's reach during reloads to quickly return the slide forward for continued operation. Next, his model was built with a silver-plated trigger, which was installed to decrease friction for an exquisite trigger pull, enabling its users to fire consecutive shots with ease, all within the company of its stylistic sheen. Unique to this custom variant, its slide had been treated with a matte blued finish, which was characterized by a soft luster that distinguished it with a bold appearance. Furthermore, this treatment provided corrosion resistance and helped mitigate reflective glare when aiming down sights. On the slide's left side, it retains the STARS RPD special team engraving, but on the right side, it's marked with the Kendo Custom Shop signature logo, designating it as one of the mastercrafted weapons of Joseph Kendo. And to finish, a set of STARS gold medallions were inserted into the center of the grips, exclusively enameled in royal blue and surrounded by a black border, branding it as the personal weapon of Chris Redfield. When taking a look at its development, the customizations made to this Samurai Edge were specialized towards Chris's vision for sharp performance, which retained an underlying focus on aesthetics with a combination of speed and precision in mind. In turn, Chris's model met the demands of a competition setting in which the time spent between shooting and reloading could determine the difference between winning or losing, but more importantly, the fate of life or death during combat situations. From this, Chris had finalized his design, officially designated as the M92FC SE02, otherwise known as the Samurai Edge Chris Redfield model. Soon after the adoption of the Samurai Edge, on July 24th of 1998, Chris and the other members of Alpha Team were sent on a mission to investigate the disappearance of Bravo Team. In response, they discovered the remains of a helicopter deep within the Arclay Mountains, leaving the officers to secure the crash site before threats behind the shadows turned this mission into a nightmare. Chris Redfield's Samurai Edge had its first appearance in the release of Resident Evil Remake, Shown during the events of the opening scene, the officers of Alpha Team begin their mission by setting foot into an open clearing located in the Raccoon Forest Zone. In the midst of scoping out the perimeter, a sudden gunshot is heard, directing the team's full attention towards the mangled body of Joseph Frost. In response, Jill Valentine attempts to save Joseph from the rabid hounds, but is shifted to a state of shock after firing the last round in her magazine. But with a bit of luck, 
Chris comes to the rescue by successfully nailing a leaping Cerberus with a single shot from his samurai edge, and proceeds to pick Jill up onto her feet as the two begin their retreat to the nearby mansion. Once the team arrives inside, it's revealed that Chris no longer has his samurai edge, as it cannot be found in his hand, holster, or anywhere inside his inventory. To this day, the fate of Chris Redfield's samurai edge is still considered a bit of a mystery. All that's known about its disappearance is that Chris managed to lose hold of his samurai edge at some point during his fleet to the front doors of the mansion. As a result, Chris enters the main hall empty-handed and is forced to begin his investigation with only a survival knife in his inventory. But soon after, when he returns to the main hall, Chris does obtain a samurai edge, which was left behind by Star's officer, Joe Valentine. After picking it up, we can quickly recognize that this weapon is not Jill's or his custom model, but instead appears as the standard model shown by the absence of their distinct features, such as the silver trigger, shortened slide stop, or Kendo custom shop engravings. Even though this handgun is not his very own, Chris demonstrates a proficient handling of the samurai edge in use by shooting with a faster rate of fire and aim down sight speed along with controlling its recoil for improved accuracy to increase his chance of scoring a critical hit. While we would have liked to use Chris's Samurai Edge instead, we can understand why it was never made obtainable when considering its predetermined fate and continuity that was meant to follow after this point in the game. Following their escape of the mansion on July 25, 1998, Chris and a small selection of his peers survived the onslaught that wiped out the rest of the team and would finally get to make their return home with the news that Stars was officially disbanded and that Umbrella had ultimately succeeded, seeing that they had not been held accountable for their heinous crimes. As a result, the remaining officers were forced to pack their belongings and look for new paths on their road ahead. But on August 29, 1998, Chris sought to take down the Umbrella Corporation himself by deciding to go on his own secret investigation in Europe unannounced. Thus. Chris had officially gone missing, leaving only a thin trace for his sister Claire and the other surviving officers to discover his whereabouts. Only several months after, on December 27, 1998, Chris set forth on a dire mission to rescue his sister Claire from imprisonment in Resident Evil, Code Veronica. Upon arrival at Rockford Island, Chris makes his grand appearance scaling the shoreside cliffs as he returns to the field dressed in fashion fit in a respect of Star's attire, but is instead equipped with a different handgun, being a standard Glock 17 Generation 2, as a replacement for the loss of his Samurai Edge. This appears as a staunch choice at first, giving the specifications of his previously customized handgun, although it's fair to say Chris likely had few means of procuring specialty equipment during his time spent in Europe, and despite its position as the substitute handgun, this replacement would not become the end of Chris being seen with the Samurai Edge in his possession. Released almost a decade later, the events of Code Veronica were retold in Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles during the game's second chapter, Game of Oblivion. Here, Chris's portrayal is faithful to the original game, as reflected by his star's uniform and weapon of choice, being a Glock 17 handgun once again however its appearance is only carried over for the cutscenes. When playing in-game, the handgun equipped by Chris is shown to be the Samurai Edge, and while it doesn't appear to be his custom model, he's the only playable character who uses this weapon. This certainly raises a brow for many, being that the inclusion of the Samurai Edge in this chapter does break consistency with the cutscenes, as well as previous depictions of Chris's handgun from the original game. Five years following the events of Code Veronica, on February 18, 2003, Chris's journey led him to reunite with his former partner Jill Valentine in a joint operation to infiltrate the Caucasus Research Facility in Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles, as depicted during the game's final chapter, Umbrella's End. For this mission, Chris deploys into the field equipped with the Samurai Edge, and as expected, it's not presented as his custom model. Instead, it's simply depicted as the standard model once again, being given the name Samurai Edge 2, along with sharing the same icon used in the game's previous chapters. While there are several theories that can be made to explain how Chris obtained a Samurai Edge for this mission, it seems more likely that this was another incident of development oversight 
by following a trend of the standard model being used as a placeholder weapon yet again. At this point in the series, it seemed all hope was lost for Chris's Samurai Edge, as many fans began to drop their expectations of ever getting to see this model receive proper representation. After countless years of waiting, faith was finally restored, with Chris's Samurai Edge having its first in-game appearance in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Here, Chris's model was not actually involved in the story of the game, but was instead featured for a cameo appearance as one of the deluxe weapons included as pre-order or bonus content. Once obtained, Chris's model is now accessible to each of the characters, which can be found inside the item chest at any point in the game. Here, it's simply given the name, Samurai Edge, Chris Model, and upon examination, its description reads, 15 shot capacity 9mm handgun, customized with a hard steel slide and silver gilded trigger for increased accuracy and ease of use. When equipped, this model shares a similar performance with the other Samurai Edge variants in the game, although it proves itself to be a more accurate model in use by attaining a quick reticle focus and aim down sight speed, which improves target acquisition and allows the player to steadily land a tight grouping on targets, even when engaging enemies at a far off distance. In both its function and visual representation, this rendition of Chris Redfield's Samurai Edge matches its depiction in the long-respected lore. And while its inclusion was certainly unexpected, many fans were grateful to see this once-forgotten weapon receive its highly anticipated appearance in-game. To this day, Chris Redfield's Samurai Edge is considered the most elusive of the custom variants, owing to its sudden disappearance before it could ever reach the doors of the Spencer Mansion. And while some may speculate this fate with an optimistic view, all signs point to Chris's model being gone forever, with little chance of it ever being recovered due to the complete destruction of the Arclay Research Facility and devastation that spread beyond the edges of the estate. In the years following, Chris has refused to move on from the past, with his held conviction to avenge the officers of STARS and all of their victims of Umbrella's bio-organic weapons. And while Chris's journey continued without his Samurai Edge, he would eventually return to the field, equipped with a handgun of the same platform as a familiar model of the weapon he lost on that fateful night. From what we know, there was no true successor to the Chris Redfield model, and it's still unclear why a subsequent variant was never produced. But even with its disappearance, Chris will always be known for his role in the development of the Samurai Edge, having left his mark on each of the other variants by shaping fundamental attributes of its design from an early stage until the end of its production. So, that's it for the Samurai Edge, Chris Redfield model, the second of the Kendo custom variants that was lost in the forests of the Arclay Mountains. If you want to see the next chapter, you're going to have to wait for part 5 of the Samurai Edge series. Be sure to check out the latest merchandise. Our new line of Samurai Edge t-shirts and sticker designs have just been released, which include the Standard model, Jill Valentine model, and Chris Redfield model. You can find our link to the shop down below. Make sure to leave us a comment on what guns in the series you'd like to see a video on next, and don't forget to come back and visit us at the gun shop for more content about the firearms of Resident Evil.